think it's a, a testament to coach coach as a teacher. I think he teaches the teams, um, but he also teaches his coaches. I, I don't think I ever thought of, 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 of coaching coaching coaches. At the start of the 2014 NCAA men's soccer season, five Division I soccer coaches were one-time assistants under Bobby Clark, including four right here at Notre Dame. When selecting assistant coaches, I, I just, a lot of them had played for me. I, I, you just felt they were players that had a really good feeling for the game. They understood the game. They were good people and they were good role models. I, I think that's the way I looked at it. It was certainly a dream and I certainly something you thought you wanted to do at some point because I was close with Bobby, I had a great time playing for him and I knew you know, he was someone that I wanted to really, really study and, and, and have a mentorship with. I was fortunate enough to come back as an assistant and, uh, and really you know, I, I had a great time in the, in the kind of six years of just trying to continue to, to ratchet it up a level. and. Um, and just try to make soccer as important as it could be at, at Notre Dame. And, and then, you know, obviously it's your alma mater and you, you have a lot of passion for the place because you were, you know, spent really formative years of your life here. And, um, and, and I obviously had a great time and loved, and loved my time working here as well. Every season is a new challenge, but this year is unique for Clark and the Fighting Irish. They have already faced two of Clark's former assistants, Brian DeWeese at Georgetown and Chad Riley at Dartmouth. It's such a fun thing to do to compete against someone close, and you know, it's a game. It's not. It's not a personal thing, and so um, obviously we'll, we'll all be fired up on the sidelines and stuff. But I think it's, yeah, it's such a dream to come back to your alma mater and play against your your former coach and, and challenge yourself because obviously it's the best in the business. So you want to see, see if you you come here to compete against the best and to try to get a win. It's 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 a fun. It's funny because it's a little uncomfortable uh, in some ways. You arrange the game, the games are arranged somehow, and then you you go, whoa, uh, you, you're you're not quite sure. And when it was a tie, you almost say, well, that, that's okay. Normally, you would say, nah, that I, we we wanted to win that one, and I, I can honestly walk out of that game and say I'm I'm reasonably satisfied. But as soon as the game ends, Clark and his former assistants are back to being family, an idea that is rooted in Bobby Clark his coaching tree in the Notre Dame men's soccer program. He's, you know, he's someone that you know you can call anytime if there's anything, because he's seen it all. I'm sure we all evolve in different directions, but I think the base of it is certainly from, from Coach Clark. I don't think two weeks will go past without talking to, to them. And you, you always take a lot of pride, you, you know, when they get a good result. So Val plays and beat Michigan State. You just send a little text to, to them, and they do the same to us. I mean, I think we all are a, are, are a family, and we are very, we're, we're very close. And, and I think that's uh, that, that's one of the, 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 the nice things about about, uh, about soccer. You know, when you've you've been with someone since I think what would be 2001 to to now for 13, 14 years. I mean, I think he's he's a mentor, a friend. You know, he's still my my coach.